what's up what's up youtube i'm sure the background noise is not disturbing you it's my pc actually so we're gonna try something like this on lightroom i'm sure you saw the last tutorial if you are new into photography please check it out if you are new into lightroom and you don't know what's happening i have a tutorial that is out i just released it about three days ago it's on my page please subscribe if you like the content that i'm delivering leave more questions if you want to see more content so we're just gonna i'm just gonna show you how to edit this one from how it used to look to something like this this is before and this is after before and then this is after so let's just go to the before let's just go to the before press restart down here and then let's just click on the basics here first thing you're gonna do is go to white balance white balance is something up here let's just play around with the white balance until we get the perfect skin tone let's bring the temperature down to i think around um, let me just type here 500 kelvin something like this now i like how the skin tone is looking and let's play with the tint a bit and put it around 60 because i need a bit of red on the skin not just orange but there has to be a bit of red then from here i'm just gonna jump down to the tones and go to the blacks let's just increase the blacks i think around 70 i'm just guessing i'm just guessing but around 70 above 60 usually i put them around above 60 especially if i have a dark background like this one from the blacks i'm just gonna jump to the shadows and then from the shadows i'm just gonna add i think 60 or 50 let me try 50 uh no 60 let's try 60 okay 60 but you won't notice the improvement or the changes here Okay, 60 is okay 61 then from here i'm just gonna go straight to the white decrease the white let's just put it minus 15 minus 15 is it okay no minus 20 minus 25 let's try minus 25 okay i like minus 25 and then also the highlights here let's just put minus minus 15 minus 15 okay the whites and the highlights i usually use it to remove the re reflection of the softbox on the skin just a bit you don't have to overdo it as you can see let's just put it right there and just zoom in here just as you can see on the skin tone okay i think i think minus 30 is okay minus 30 is fine then from here we just go gonna go on the clarity to make the skin softer uh, remember when we increase this it's gonna give us more texture when we decrease this it's gonna give us more blur or something like that so i'm just gonna put it on minus 10 minus 10 is always good for me now let's just uh, let's just put minus minus 5 minus 5 because we're still gonna do the same with uh, noise reduction just make the skin softer if you're having the latest version 2016 going up i think 2015 no 2017 going up they do have these options especially clarity clarity is everywhere uh, the haze the haze i think it's around here i don't know but if you're using the latest there's also i think it's texture up here you can use texture to make the skin soft uh, on the mobile app there is that option to make it the skin softer so mine is not the updated version but i like this one let's just put the haze around 15. okay i like how it looks now let's just rush down to hsl and just decrease the color of the greens let's go to saturation and just put the greens up to minus 20 no minus 30 minus 30 Oop, minus 30 is not working for us okay minus minus 50 that's yeah, minus 50 minus 50 i like minus 50 luminance minus you also have to use your eyes to monitor here i think i like minus 19 hue of the grains uh, i don't like how it looks here 
but it, it gives you that warm feeling this side gives you that blue feeling uh -huh. i'm just gonna put it around minus 11 and then we're gonna jump to detail detail and then we go to noise reduction let's zoom in here noise reduction let's put it around hmm, 20 27 25 let's put it around 25 okay we are done with this one and then from here we're just gonna send this straight to photoshop we're done with this one so this is part one of editing this picture if you want to jump it to photoshop or edit in photoshop there's already an option just right click on your model here then go to editing and then there's editing open as a smart object or edit in photoshop anyway this is part one please subscribe leave a comment leave a request check out the last video i'm showing you how to use lightroom signing